What's going on guys? We're back here at the Worldwide Coral Anniversary event. The farm room is opening back up to the public. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour of all the tanks, including the 900 gallon bill. This first tank we're looking at here is a 293 gallon tank, also known as Casper's Home. The white tank, he's the boss of this tank. And also known to house the uh, famous Worldwide Coral Bounce mushrooms. As you can see there's the green one there. And then here at the top is the orange with green. You can say this is one of my uh, favorite tanks of the store. It's really clean, has a lot of beautiful pieces. All right, the next tank we have here is the Fluva 24 gallon tank. It's an all in one tank with all the filtration in the back. Has a lot of beautiful pieces as well, a variety of rock flower anemones, acans, all different kinds of high end chalices. It's a real beautiful little nano tank. Right here on the left hand side you can see the three skunk clowns with their anemone. And then also to top it off with a uh, couple of SPS here at the top. Alright guys, there's the 900 gallon in all its glory. As you can see there at the bottom left hand corner. This video was taken approximately about a year and a half ago when the tank was first cycling didn't have any fish or coral, just rock. Big difference of how it looks now with all the fish and coral, it looks beautiful. Now this tank's dimensions is 12 feet by 4 feet by 31 inches. Uh, for lighting, they're using a total of six 250 watt radium metal highlights, a total of 14 T5 bulbs, and six reef bright. The 900 gallon is also home to this beautiful white chocolate tank, the hybrid tank. White with black and yellow markings. Beautiful tank. It's the boss of the tank. As you can see, guys, the 900 gallon is uh, mainly SPS dominant. Has a lot of encrusting corals down at the bottom. No substrate on this tank. A lot of high end SPS. Chalices. Very beautiful tank. Now for flow in the tank, they have these Hydro Wizard power heads, as you can see there in the picture. They pretty much look like bazooka cannons. Those things are huge. They have a total of two medium ones, four small ones, and one MP60. For skimmer, they're running the SRO XP 8000. It's an external protein skimmer. Next tank is this beautiful cube. I believe it's a 200 gallon cube. It's a tall cube. It's one of the newer tanks. This wasn't here the last time I came. Uh, it's crazy because the guys mentioned that to place coral in this cube here towards the bottom, they pretty much have to wear goggles. The top portion of their body has to go into the tank. So that's crazy. It has a lot of beautiful pieces, recordias, some softies. Yeah. Euphilias. You see here in this rock here, they have a lot of high-end chalices. Here's a side boob of the 900. A couple of high end monoporas. 
and there he is. The boss of the tank. He gets to ask if he can buy some stuff tank. too. He's looking beautiful, nice and healthy. Nice and fat. Okay, we're in the uh, farm room. There's a total of approximately about seven holding tanks. A lot of eye candy to choose from. Here you can see there's a couple of high-end encrusted monoporas. You would spend your whole check in here. Here's another look at the cube. All right, guys, one last look here at the 900. The guys were kind enough to turn on the metal highlights for me so we can kind of take a look on how the tank looks with the daylight look. There's that beautiful white chocolate tank again. Beautiful fish. Clear. All right, guys. Finally, the 500-gallon tank. It's another beautiful tank. A lot of different variety of corals. This tank also does not have any substrate. Everything is encrusting coral at the bottom, as you can see. Monoporas, fabias. I can say that in this tank, I've seen some of the largest tanks. They house a long nose black tank and a hippo tank that I would say measure anywhere from 10 to 12 inches. They're huge. Enjoy the tour of all the tanks. As always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.